I'm Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. And this, this is Steven. Also a sex researcher. A lot of times people ask me, what is it like to be a professor at a college and teach a class on human sexuality? So I thought to address some of those questions, I would not only give my point of view, but also give someone else's. So I invited Steven here because, well, he also teaches a class on human sexuality. True. True. He agrees. What is a question that a student asks you most frequently? Students tend to ask me about my own relationships. Like, have, uh, it's like Steve. Interesting. Um, like, Steve, have you ever had a really bad relationship? And I'm like, how do I answer this yes. appropriately? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm human. Yes, I've had a really bad relationship. That's why I'm so single. I was asked, where do I buy poppers? Oh. And okay. I said, I can't tell you. <laughs> You, was, okay, were you saying you can't tell them because you don't know or because you don't want to be someone that tells their students where they can buy poppers? Correct, the latter. I was like, I do know where to buy them, but I don't know if I should tell you. I didn't tell them. Yeah. <laughs> they found it on their own. <laughs> I've gotten pulled aside at the end of classroom and some student, one student had told me that she had to skip an exam because she found out that she was pregnant. That was a fun conversation to have. Another one told me that right after my porn sex work at this semester, but two semesters ago, that she was a former sex worker and she wanted mm. to tell me all about it. The week that I was teaching the class on sexual victimization yep. was the same week that everything was blowing up all over the news about Dr. Ford and Judge Kavanaugh. One of the things though that shook me is that one of my students chose to tell the entire class about um, how they had been victimized. And I, I didn't cut this student off. I let the student finish. Mm -hmm. And then I reframed it to what I'm seeing is interesting about this is that we are in a room of students and all of you are among someone who has been sexually victimized. Mm -hmm. And this is probably not the only person in the room. And something this yeah. highlights is that people that have been victimized are around us yeah. all the time and we may not know it. Yeah, that whole, uh, the Kavanaugh media, everything that was happening going on, that was around the same time that I gave my sexual assault and sexual victimization lecture. Mm -hmm. And I started off with, I was like, we're gonna get into this, but I wanna at least throw out the, the terminology that I would like to be discussed appropriately in this classroom. And then I went over some things and then I just opened it up to the students. I'm like, what does everyone think? Yeah, I, I don't avoid the topic, I talk about it, I talk about what it is, and I talk about what research has said about it. But what I don't do is allow the class to get into a debate about if you, if people should be pro-life or should be pro-choice. Yeah. I just try to like present all of the facts in an unbiased way as possible, yeah. and then let them come to their own conclusions. Yeah. I mean, the, the abortion lecture is a very hard lecture to do because it's also in like the pregnancy and childbirth and contraception and like, yeah. area. So it's like, let's talk about all these things of preventing, having, and you know, mm -hmm. the abortion area. I was like, I'm just going to run through this. If you guys have questions, we could talk about them, but this is not a debate for right now. Really, there's only one or two times that really stick out to me. And one of them, a student came to my office after class and asked me something about an exam and I explained the question and then they left and they came back like two minutes later. Did they forget something? So that's what I said. I was like, oh, did you forget something? Um, and she said, no, you know, I was just wondering if maybe you would want to like get a drink sometime. And this was actually my first semester teaching and I had no idea how to respond. Oh. Well, and I think something that makes it an even weirder interaction is because we are teaching a class on human sexuality and part of it is about the power of women and mm -hmm. about women being assertive and about mm -hmm. women um, having more communication with their partners mm -hmm. about their sexual wants and needs and desires. Mm -hmm. So it, it becomes very conflicting when someone who's female hits on you because you've been talking so much about like wanting women to be more empowered and then they hit on you and it's totally situation. inappropriate. Yeah. I felt very self-conscious because I didn't want to shame her. Mm -hmm. um, 
because I didn't want her to then like not go and hit on someone with whom it would have been much more appropriate. Who's but, not a teacher. Who's not a teacher. But at the same time, I didn't want to give any sort of inclination that it was okay. Mm -hmm. True. So I was just very clear, like, you know, that's not really appropriate mm -hmm. due to the rules at school. But also like- And, and kind of left it like that. And it was, yeah. it was super awkward and uncomfortable, but I definitely felt conflicted because I didn't want this person to feel bad even mm. though what they were doing was not appropriate. Okay, thank you for watching. So feel free to send either of us any more thank questions. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is fun. Um, so all of his contact information is going to be in the info below along with mine always being there. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.